recordings and stream. Point five update. There we go. Okay. Uh, All right. We're good to go. Okay. I just need to figure out how much time these good losers had for their next match. Uh, they have two hours of rest. All right. While you're figuring that out, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Did, Welcome back. Did you figure it out? Yeah, I'm just rolling dice. So, so far, the only match that we're not going to get to that we would have liked to get to is the, um, uh, the, um, the Erg Johnny match, right? Yeah. And then I guess it... So you weren't planning on doing the losers bracket, man, the second round losers brackets, right? I mean, that would have been a stretch goal, but because we're doing the upper bracket finals, it doesn't make a difference. It's fine. Also, is that accurate? Does Tracen have to fight on the same day he just fought Tomlin? On the uh, yeah, all the win all the losers have to fight. The oh same God. Day. Yeah, so I mean it's it's a two hour gap. Nah, I guess that's okay. Fights. But you still well, don't. He's gonna really suck. But you still like, uh, what was it? There was, I don't remember actually. Did you use Divine Guidance? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tracy used Divine Guidance with Metacrit Fit. Yeah. So, that, I guess that's the only thing you're mi going to miss out on. Yep. Okay, Shaw is up to full hit points from the resting. Let me do the uh, NPC. NPC over Cosimo. I will say, he probably is the best NPC. Just watching that fight with Blaine, I mean, he did really well. <laughs> he did great. That's, that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to be betting for Blaine. He kind of really did not impress. Yeah. Blaine has been really impressive. Blaine unimpressive whatsoever this entire time. is horrible. Mm-hmm. Yep. In fairness, the lion fight, you know, it's a lion, so... But still, yeah. I mean, if you're going to challenge a lion, that's on you. Well, he didn't, he didn't challenge, challenge a lion. It. The tournament he, people decided to do it, and he's like, sure. <laughs> he just said no. That's true. <laughs> he's well, a grown man. Oh, both had high initiative. Both got an 18. <laughs> Damn, mm. these guys are ready to go. Now you gotta look at who has the better bonus. Yeah, when I mean, you can see it there. <laughs> also, I feel like it's not really correct for me to have my name be Erg now in game, just because I I have three characters. And same with you, Silco. Like, you have two characters, so it's like you can go to like you can put it like Tracen slash. Hey, oh, you're right. That's a good idea. Slash our nose, slash. Yeah, I guess I could do that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yes. Erg. Arno. Thea. Dard. Save name. That works. I like that better. Okay. You Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
What a movement does this guy have? 30 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And... He's going to go ahead and activate defensive stance. <laughs> I've seen you fight before. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess... Ah, can can you give him tactics? <laughs> Too late. Oh, Why not? Shaw's got tactics from Cosimo. This poor guy. He never gets tactics. Oh, I never said he doesn't have tactics. I said... I'm, I meant that you mm. can't give him tactics. Too late. Okay, he could get tactics. But it would only be a six mine tactics. Yes. <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> All right. Shaw's going to. Stare intently. Come up here, and is that 30 feet? One closer, and he's going to do attempt to intimidate. This guy attempts his save. I think that's a fail. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a definitely fail. a fail. Shaw's DC might be 17. You're not inaccurate. <laughs> okay, this guy's turn. Okay, um... It's in a bit of a pickle, because moving forward is a difficult terrain. He's already got half movement. What else can he do? I mean... I don't know, I think his next move's kind of obvious. He needs to back away, force Shaw to move further, and then try and resist the save. Or try and get a save off. <laughs> it's kind of the obvious course of action. No, he's going to flanking dodge. Okay, well he should still back away. That will just make it easier to do a longer charge. He can... What? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Backing away would not make it easier to use a longer charge. Not while you're intimidated and have a defensive stand. Certainly wouldn't. I don't see how that's relevant to what was stated, but okay. I mean, if he backs up over here, how's no, it no, easier? We use that. What okay, how's it easier uh, for him to do a longer charge? Shaw would still have to do the same thing either way to get a longer charge. What? He would have to use a bonus dash if he wanted to get a longer charge than 25 feet. Yes. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying if he's going to back up over here, then he's going to have to do the same thing. Although, in this case, he's going to have to use a bonus dash anyway to get close enough. So... It's just the superior move. But why is that superior than going closer and reducing the the, the size of the charge? That, how does that help? He's still going to have to use... Because it makes he, the bar smaller, so is, he's more likely to get a higher flanking dodge. Okay. I mean, I still don't really see how that's... He, Shaw, all right, Shaw's going to have to use a bonus dash. And, all right, let's say he's over here. Um, then Shaw could get a 15-foot charge in. If he backed away one and then charged, he'd still get a 20-foot charge in. If he used a bonus dash, he'd get a 25-foot charge in. Okay. Yeah, I guess in that case, you've saved him a 5-foot worth of charge. That one, that one accuracy and damage. Mm -hmm. That's fair, yeah. It's like the only benefit to running away is if you get completely out of his range. Nah, I wouldn't say that's the only benefit. Forcing him to use a bonus dash to even touch you is also a benefit. I 
mean, I guess, but Shaw doesn't have anything that he can do as a bonus action anyways besides Intimidate, I don't think. Yeah. Except second wind. Intimidate and second wind. But he does not hurt, so second wind doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, you're, I, I said earlier, yeah, it makes sense. Just be, It would make more sense I to I think if it against a fire that would, has bonus actions as valuable, then I would agree. Well, I, I told you a second ago, I said that, yeah, moving up seems like, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've read agreement. <laughs> I need to figure out how uh, how much movement he's actually going to have from this stacking penalty. Oh, you're right. Yeah. If he can't move 10, then it doesn't make a difference at all. Well, does it not make a difference? I don't think so. If you move up 5 feet, then if he moves back 5, he can still move up Oh, that's 25 feet. It would still feet. be a 20-foot charge, though. I don't think he can manage a 25-foot charge. Unless he used a bonus dash. Yeah. Well, yeah. But then it would still be 25, so it's still avoiding the 30. Mm-hmm. So yeah. moving 5 foot is not any different from moving 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is good for this guy, because he only has 5 feet of movement. Or 7 and a half, but... Yeah. Can he just move halfway between? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. He used his action to do that, so he's going to ready a bonus action. Not going. Oh yeah, he doesn't have intimidate, does he? Yeah, he had to use a mine. He does save. not. Yeah, he's got to ready that. Okay. Ho ho! Suspense. Ready and shield bash. Oh man, he's got a shield bash now. This, I think you're confusing this guy with someone you face in the team tournament. This guy has a shield bash. Oh okay. And save. Mind save? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still fail. Okay. Uh, Shaw is obviously doing a charge. Will he use the bonus dash to get that plus one? That sweet, sweet plus one. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else to do with the bonus action. Maybe if the guy had passed his mind save, he might have saved it for the... Mm -hmm. Another intimidate, but he doesn't have anything else to do with the bonus action. So yeah, he's going to bonus dash to do a twenty-five foot charge. Charge. This guy's shield bash goes off first. At disadvantage. Indeed. Oh wait! I actually, forgot that it was going to be disadvantage initially. What? So he probably shouldn't ready the shield bash because he's got flanking dodge active, remember? I was oh, like, point. Yeah, yeah, like, no, no, do yeah, I was like, that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> and he has opportunist anyway, so he doesn't need to even ready it. He can just use opportunist to do it. Oh, okay. So yeah, he doesn't even need to do that, so... Use him to stamina. I thought you said opportunist um, doesn't allow you to use anything but a attack of opportunity. But remember, it's Shaw's turn, so he does have a reaction to do an attack of opportunity. It's when it's your own turn that you can't do it. Um, but yes, it, he can't do it with a shield bash. It would be a normal attack. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So I, I, if that was what you were referring to, the shield bash part. Mm -hmm. um, so Shaw. It's plus five. Uh, I think that's a miss. Really? The flanking that. dodge is enough? Um, because it's the disadvantage as well. It's only 20. And this guy has a shield, remember. So. Disadvantage from the defensive stance. Yeah, so 20. And then shield. So he's 18 base. And then this Damn. guy has four agility, so 22. If he didn't have disadvantage, he would have got the hit, though. Um, so that is a miss. Well, he's this quite happy gets... with this. Yeah, this guy is gets plus two on his retaliatory or uh, 
opportunist attack now. Uh, Retaliatory so opportunist there. attack. Yes. Misses. 17, yeah. Wait, 17 misses? Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right. I didn't add the plus two there. Um, so, yeah. Does that's that hit. also uh, give him plus two damage? I don't remember. Indeed, it does. So he does 12. Okay, so flanking dodge does do damage and accuracy. I couldn't remember. Yes, it does both. Um, and then... Shaw doesn't have anything else to do. That took a total of three stamina. And then put... Uh, and then two for that attack. And then this guy's turn, he will use his bonus action to transition into a dueling stance for two stamina. Then really? He still attack. wants to do that even though he's intimidated? Okay, that seems well, a little it weird. cancels out the intimidation on his first attack each I guess. It just seems weird, like, if you're already at disadvantage. And Shaw can't do multi multiple attacks, so Shaw's going to be at disadvantage on his attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Against uh, on people who can do multiple attacks, it's not as strong as of a stance. But on yeah. someone who can't really do multiple attacks, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so this guy attacks. Holy shit! Okay, so additional two d six. Thirteen. That was very low damage for. <laughs> for a crit. The the three stam damage is really the most effective part. <laughs> The highest he got on any dose was three out of six. Um, and then three stamina. At least he got high stamina. Um, yeah, he's done five then, stamina damage so far, so that's that's good. Yeah. And then he makes a save attempt. Hitting it. Breaking the intimidation. Oh, what about his... Uh... Oh, yeah, he had to use a bonus action, yeah, to transition. I see. Yes. And then Shaw's turn. Shaw is... Going to do a reckless attack. It's probably wise. Doesn't need he, it. He, yeah, uh, 15 and 1. And the other guy is hindered. Although it doesn't matter, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Then Shaw is going to second wind. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's the stuff. hard. Oxygen. Okay, and then this other guy's turn. Covers from being hindered. He's going to start off with a shield bash. Missing. 17 is not enough? He doesn't get plus 2 on this. Oh, okay. Got it. He does hit the foul count attack. Yeah, he's used a lot of Shaw's Stam. Wow. I mean, just in attacks, he's done seven Stam damage. Yeah. And let's see. That's both his actions. Shaw. Going to go for another reckless attack. He's going all in. He 16, needed it. No, no, 16 still misses. He oh, you're to... right. Yeah. It cancels that. Not yeah. an advantage. So that is a miss. This guy's going to retaliatory strike. Oh, oh, oh. And another two stam. Jeez. Goddamn. 
I've said before, this guy is a strong NPC, man. Right. Jeez. Shaw faced this guy in the... You know, one of the oh, movies, you're uh, right, he did! I forgot about that, yeah! So Shaw's not very happy about this fight so far. <laughs> Shaw is then going to second one again. God, he has used eight stam on two reckless attacks and two second wins in the last. Oof. Yeah, he was he needed to get a hit that did enough damage to hinder the guy from an injury and also do the normal hinder to break the stance. Mm -hmm. But it's not working out. Yeah. What happens when you don't have any skills and knock people on their ass? Well, he missed his ferocious charge, which was his first attempt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is that something you're going to try to work on in order to prevent? Because right now there's only three abilities that can cause an off balance to begin with. So it, stances in general are going to be reworked pretty heavily. Okay. Um, so it's no longer going to be the only way to break stances. I mean, I've I've just been thinking about, like, against Johnny in particular with the duelist, I was going to use Erg to dodge, roll away, move back, and charge again. Um, that was my plan. Yeah. Or use strategic withdrawal. I don't know. I, I... How do you have strategic withdrawal? Huh? What? How do you have free agility? Does Erg not? Yeah, he has. Yeah, what? What are you talking about? That's it's tier two. Yeah, it's a tier two skill. What are you talking about? What? What? <laughs> you need to look at him. <laughs> no way. Is it? It's tier three. Oh, it is tier three. Well, it then Erg three. shouldn't have that. All right then. Hacks, hacks. Hurry go here, hacking. <laughs> okay, he has dodge know. roll right though, right? Yeah, dodge roll yeah, is correct. Roll. Yeah, dodge roll is tier two. That's fine then. That's all I really need. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um. Strategic withdrawal would be the... nice because it's cheaper, but you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I already yeah. had Shaw do the second win this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then the other guy is going to once again go for a shield bash. Hitting. Only a whopping four damage, though. That two stamina, though, man. He's... Two stamina, yes. It's... And shots Oof. make a agility save. <laughs> Gives no fucks. The other guy goes for foul count attack. God damn, Shaw's not giving a fuck. Okay, so, hold on. I think I messed something up. Yes. Yes, I did. What? So, last turn, the guy did a shield... No, okay, shield dash is bonus action. Okay, that's Yeah, fine. yeah, I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but when he did his retaliatory strike... No, he's still okay. So I'm good. I never, I didn't mess anything up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that I was like, I was like, something doesn't seem right about these dice. But no, I'm good. Everything's good. Everything's uh, fine. Luck, this guy misses his attack. Uh, Shaw will then do retaliatory strike himself. And this is the one at disadvantage. I don't know if this is this is in yeah this is in the yes. first round. This is at disadvantage. First turn of the round. Yeah. So the so next nice. one will not be. That's what I meant. Yeah. Indeed. And then it is Shaw's turn. Goes for an attack. I do like how um you oh. Well I didn't Well, I guess it was a good thing because he would have been off balance. Yeah. <laughs> so he actually saved his ass. <laughs> That's what I like about retaliatory strike is being able to use it to nullify uh villain stance in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Too bad it costs a stand to do it, but but damn, like this guy has been where he's he's gotten rid of uh, the vast majority of Shaw's of Shaw's stamina. There's no way he's got much left. Like, jeez, he is down quite a bit. Um, like Shaw's used is... up a lot of stam on just actions. Yeah, Shaw's going to go for another intimidation. This is why I did not want to gamble on this because who knows what the fuck can happen. Guy fails to save and is intimidated. Like, let's see, Intimidate, uh, Ferocious Charge, another Intimidate right there, uh, two Second Winds, and then two uh, Reckless Attacks, that's 12 Stamina right there, and then he also did a Retaliatory Strike, that's 13 Stamina, like, jeez. 
And then he's <laughs> lost, what, nine? Yeah, I think it's nine from attacks. Nine? <laughs> nine? Okay, let's see. Uh, so that guy's intimidated. That's the end of Shao's turn. The other guy... His turn, he's going to... Oh, wait, he did use a bonus action, too. I forgot, a bonus dash. I forgot about that. Yes. I'm just... It doesn't matter. I'm counting. Yeah, you're <laughs> um, hey, This guy's not going to waste his time with the shield dash because an off-balance doesn't really mean anything. Because he has he's intimidated anyways. <laughs> so that's nice. And it's on the first dice, so it counts. This guy's gotten two crits against Sean. Sean oh. hasn't got shit. And that was a much better damage roll for him, too. That causes an injury, I think. And let me double check. Nope. Really? Holy crap. I thought his, he had like an injury Shaw threshold is... injury or something. Oh, you're correct. He does have that. Yes, he does take an injury. Then. He does take an injury. Yeah, I thought like uh, uh, yesterday we were talking about it, like he got two of them correct. or something. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah, he got the same. He got a blood loss injury twice in a row. Uh, injuries, sensory injury. Oh, I like that matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that oh, that's two stam. Like jeez. Only two severity though. <laughs> God, his injury threshold so high. <laughs> yeah, his injury threshold is twenty-one. <laughs> Holy shit! Naturally, Damn. naturally. Damn. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Holy crap! So that's the, that was this guy's action. Now he has a bonus action attack. Missing. Shaw will retaliatory strike. And that is that disadvantage. Doesn't 19 matter. should still hit. 19 yeah. is enough. 12 2. And that was one stamina. Shaw, he's starting to run very, very low. Yeah. Shaw needs to go for it. Um. Oh, this guy needs to make a mind save. Mm -hmm. Passing. Shaw is going to do a reckless attack. It's crunch time. He got it. Doesn't get much damage, though. Yeah. That three stam is good, though. But, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming Although this guy... he hasn't done as much stamina damage as the other guy's done to him. Yeah, I don't think he has an issue with stam right now. And he hasn't really used it that much anyway. I mean, except on Shield Bash. And then Shaw's going to... Second Wind. Oh, this God. Is going to be his last one. Damn. Uh, let's see, the other guy's turn... Well, it's brought him to about even in terms of, you know, the life bar. Like, his his actual health is probably higher, but, you know. Yeah, Shaw has 36 and the other guy's 34 at the moment. Oh, they're that close. I actually thought Shaw would be yeah. significantly Although higher. the other guy has more stamina and Shaw's going to start taking the stamina damage as actual damage pretty soon. Yeah. Uh -oh. So this guy's going to attack, hitting... <laughs> Does a secondary attack. Why is he not using his shield bash yes, first? Yeah. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to. He wants to conserve bash. stamina. Okay. I mean, well, he could have done that time. He didn't. I didn't want him to do it last time because he was already intimidated, so he wasn't going to get advantage even if he put him off balance. But yeah, he could have done it this turn. Um, is eight so and was, two? Does that get rid of eight, his stamina? That is the last of his stamina. He had two. Wow. Um, so Shaw can't even retaliatory strike. Attack. Indeed, he cannot. So looking back for Mr. Shaw. He's got to get a few good hits in here. Really, if he just gets two good hits in, he's won the match. That's what he needs to I, do. He, he has vulnerability, so if he manages to get a crit somehow... <laughs> That's true, crit. yeah. Well, if you crit, yeah, you just win. Just crit. Easy. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, so close! That's a disadvantage, yeah, though. Never mind. That's a disadvantage, so that's oh, a miss. Oh, yeah. 
And that is likely the end of the map. That means he has a double crit, though, realistically. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's like, that's why I was having him do uh, Reckless Attacks, hoping he would at least get one of them. That's an this advantage. Guy, gets a hit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's over. An additional three. And a secondary attack. This guy's a strong NPC, man. Jeez. There's another hit for 10. Actually, 12, and Shao had 13 health, so Shao's at one hit point now. He's gonna, yeah. Ah, uh, good game. No, no, no. Oh, he's, he's not. Come he's going country. for it. He's I believe. Me. Get that crit. That. No. That's, well, that's better than nothing, hit, but. Not enough to do anything. Now you need him to miss both his attacks. One with an advantage. Does Shaw have life? Shaw has one health left. <laughs> one health. He's at one health. A whopping one. Here we go. That hits. Shaw down. Shaw dead. Ripperoni. <laughs> and with that, Shaw has been eliminated from the tournament. Feels extra bad. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that I I that guy's a strong NPC. <laughs> he really that is. Me, that's who Tracen has to fight. Oof. Hey, well, it's better than fighting Shaw, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> he is really good, but I feel like Trayson would have a better shot against that guy than uh than against Shaw, Does he have to be honest. Or Say again? Did that guy have Stance Master? No. I think he had Tournament oh, okay. Champion. Oh, that's right. That's what he got. In, 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 ironically, he's never won at a tournament. <laughs> he's a Tournament <laughs> Champion. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Forget that part. <laughs> So should I be changing the name of the, uh, or changing the, should it be 0.7 now, or what? Um, no, you can keep it. Well, I mean, it shouldn't, really. I mean, it's still, I, I guess, order-wise. Because the next does, match so. after this was 0. 0.6, which was Trace and B. Tomlin. Mm -hmm. But we're going to the match before that, which is at Blaine versus Edwin. So oh, you're still... right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I forgot about that so fight. Good. All right. Um, clear this. Now, where's Blaine and Edwin? Edwin, here's Blaine. Let me figure out there. They have a long rest of time, so they're both at full. With their bonuses. Let me double check how much temporary hit points they have. And then Arnaud, if he could... Well, nah. We're not going to worry about that. What, tactics? Yeah, I uh, was thinking... Both of, them, both of them already have tactics. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm like, nah. I like Edwin that. has seven mind, just like you do. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, except he would have an additional stam if Arnaud did it. So he could just be like, you know, Arno, you want to give me some tactics and I can take a nap? And then... No, that that would be metagamey. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's see. Blaine goes first. Well, I mean, when you have, like, artificial things like an, an HP number and an ability point or skill, you know, whatever the stamina number is, is that really metagamey? I mean, it doesn't mean that the in-world NPCs are going to act as if they have knowledge of that health bar and stamina amount. I mean, that's not the way it works in reality, so who the hell knows? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Like, you don't I mean, actually have... that way if, with that attitude, but... You don't have a stamina number, whatever the fuck that is. Or... Not with that attitude, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who who knows? Maybe they would have ex an exact knowledge of their numbers. Okay. Blaine's going to main dash. He doesn't want to give out give Edwin any time. 
Oh, he's gonna... Both. Damn. Or does he just have 35 foot of movement normally? Holy shit. Damn. God damn. Playing fast. Hey, very fast. Very fast boy. I'll be right back, by the way. Edwin has been put in a little bit of a pickle already. I'm going to activate his crafting. I mean, does he not have dodge roll or disengage or anything? Is that really a I pickle? Mean... <laughs> I don't think it's that much of a pickle, to be honest. Well, he's never... So far in this tournament, he has yet to have to engage somebody out in Tier 1. He's always at least had Tier 2 of his Fury Crafting, so he's able to at least force disadvantage on attack. Now he's going in with nothing other than Tier 1. Tier but one that's why I'm saying, if he just has disengage, then it doesn't matter that much. That's true. Or strategic withdrawal and, or dodge roll, Mitch whatever. Says, oh, well, that's cowardly. I'd like to point out that he's already lost to Blade. He knows how strong Blade yeah, is. I know. He needs to be uh, smart. He will be doing something along those lines. I'm just trying to figure out the way he would do it. In. But yeah, anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> Have fun. Yep, he's going to strategic withdrawal. Nice. Moving over here. Blaine's turn. Fortunately, it didn't really matter where he could move. Well, I mean, he can force another primary dash on Blaze, so Blaze can't really. No, he can't. I'm back. Look at how little distance he was able to gain. That's fair. <sighs> so, Edwin is not going to strategic withdrawal because that's useless. Why not? Maybe he positions himself better. There is nowhere he can move that is out of Blaine's normal no, movement. No, 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 no but. If he positions himself better, he could potentially avoid some damage. For example, if he puts himself <laughs> right here, or even like right here, Blade is going to have to do. He can't really do a charge. Not or a not a charge. long charge. Yeah. Whereas he put himself, he puts himself anywhere over here. Blade's going to have the ability to get like a twenty foot charge on him. If he uses the pillar right here, he can force Blade to only get maybe a ten foot charge. Or he could, like, try a defensive stance. I don't know. <laughs> if he knows any stances. Edwin that's a good point. He does have defensive stance, but that's the only stance he has. <laughs> oh, man. Um, his game plan is usually to just outlast people until he gets more powerful theories. So, I mean, that might be a good option for him. Because once he gets uh, the level... For Fury, man, he's going to be nasty. I don't know, either way. Yeah, he's just going to activate defensive stance and stand here. Are you actually giving everyone a chance here? So you don't fuck everyone's bets? Uh, yes, I'm trying to give him a chance okay. here. I've only even considered having him retreat because Casey was talking about that. Okay, I'll make sure because... Last time, a certain NPC over Cosmo suddenly started getting a little ballsy when it didn't make sense to. Okay, because he was trying to push his advantage and win. Uh -huh. Uh 
I mean, I apologize that I don't have the NPCs metagame like you do. That's... Okay. Blaine is going to be doing a reckless attack. And that's a hit. Uh, 1D, what's that one tonight? Eight. Takes 15 damage, avoids an injury. Well, he wouldn't actually, that wouldn't have been an injury anyways. D3 stamina damage. Oh. Exactly, D32. That's a lot of stamina. Here we go. D32. Jesus. I just fat fingered it. Uh, All the stamina is just magically yeah. gone. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, Blaine has tactical striking, and that's a reckless attack which hinders as well, so that's two stacks for an obstruction. I thought it only hinders if you get the injury. Uh, that is. Heavy blow. Reckless attack hinders regardless. Um, but Blaine is hindered as well, so he doesn't have a reaction either. Uh, okay, I was trying to figure out what Blaine was going to do for his bonus action. He's going to go for an Intimidate. Mm -hmm. Edwin shrugs it off. And it's Edwin's turn. His crafting goes two. Being obstructed is difficult. He has to choose either to make attack or put him at disadvantage. Don't forget he also has an app and reflex myth as a free skill. So you could potentially go for reposting for no. Can you could you repost a spearman? Uh, you would not deal any damage. It doesn't matter because Blaine doesn't have a reaction anyway. There would be no repost. That's true. That's true. So it's if so if you if you just just to clarify though, if you do come out of melee range of a spear guy and get uh, attacked of opportunity, you can parry slash repost it to. Prevent it from hitting you, but you won't be dealing any damage to them because you're not within your melee range. Right. So, just for future reference. So you can use it defensively, but not aggressively. Fair. Unless you will also have a, a whole arm. That's nice too. They basically get free parries all the time, so and so he takes one stamp, and you reduce all metallic attacks by one stamp. Free well, that's attacking skills. Repost does not count as an attacking skill. Even though it does damage. That is a secondary effect, not the main effect. Lame. I mean, it's like disarming strike, reckless attack, subtle strike. Those would be affected. Um, Right. Did probably more, but I don't know. I'm locked on the head. Uh, anyways, Edwin's turn. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have him move forward and attack. Uh, 
Oh, okay. I'm wondering why this number was incorrect on this. Okay. And when attacks. Missing. Blaine does not have a reaction to retaliatory strike. Blaine's turn. He's going to stab. Or no, he's going to back up first. Edwin is not going to take the attack of opportunity. Why wouldn't he? Uh, he knows he without he if he had put Blaine at disadvantage by using repel metal, then he would have. But he's more weary of the uh, retaliatory strike and attacks like that. I'm just saying though, because he I've done, can't you not be. Uh... Isn't there a passage where you don't take damage from repost? Oh, right, he does not take damage from repost. Okay, never mind. Yes, he would definitely take it then. I forgot about that effect. Um, attack of opportunity. Where's... Well, I'm just having all here. Oh! Okay. You shouldn't have done that. You talked me into that, man. Yeah. It's your fault. It is my fault. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, you are single-handedly responsible for Edwin's death here. <laughs> Okay, uh. Hey, man, I can't control for Edwin. Chance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sucks for Edwin. He. Even with tactics, he doesn't get rid of that. He doesn't have an angel, unfortunately. Uh, Blaine. We'll just tab. And he misses anyway. <laughs> and he misses anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see. Good shit, yeah, pretty much. Um, he's then going to attempt to intimidate again. <laughs> Get shrugged <laughs> off. Then blame back. We gotta, of think of we gotta think of something for it to happen when you uh, get a crit uh, on a save, other than you just pass the save. Yeah. I'll probably just have to give you advantage on that type of save for the next minute or something. I was just thinking for like the next round, you can't uh, you automatically pass any attempts like that again, but that... <clears throat> well, if it's only one round, that's too easy. Okay, you're like, okay, the enemy... Crit that, so I'm just not going to do that effect next turn. And then after that, it's back to normal. That feels really lame. So. Yeah, it don't happen all that much, so I'm I'm pretty fine with doing it for a minute. I was thinking more because it, in the in a one v one situation, that's really part, uh, not that useful. But in a group fight, I can see that being more, especially if like you're fighting people with um with multiple people trying to shield back heavy blows or. People attempting multiple things require a bit save or whatever it is, whatever type of save you end up getting. Yeah, I might be advantage for the next minute or until you fail a save. If you fail a save, it's discontinued. Yeah, yeah I like that idea better as long as you fail a save. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's the end of Blaine's turn, Edwin's turn. His thing goes up to three. He now has a bonus action, so he can use Iron Skin. He's then going to step forward. Blaine's attack of opportunity goes off. Oh, did I forget to do... No, Blaine missed his attack, so he doesn't do any stamina damage. Okay. Um, attack of opportunity. That one hits, but it's half damage. And some stamina damage though. Edwin. Forward again. Uh, 
He's not going to do a reckless attack. He's just going to do a normal attack. Believe it has a hit. For a whopping 18. And 3. Hey, Edwin draws blood. Yep, yep. He has bloodied Blaine the Bloody. What's the story of why he's called the Bloody? It, or is that not? The the first time these two faced off each other where Blaine edged out Edwin in the end of the match, just barely. He was covered in blood, partially his own, partially his opponent's. Got it. And, uh... <laughs> And then they switch to blunt weapons. <laughs> you can bleed plenty even with blunted weapons. Yeah. Oh, okay. Blindster. Edwin will do the attack opportunity again. Blaine will repost it just to prevent himself from taking damage. If he somehow fails this, that's going to be hilarious. He passes. What is he doesn't do any damage because of Edwin's effect, but he prevents himself from taking damage. Blaine is then going to attack. But he lost his bonus action. Indeed, indeed. Edwin takes half. And then some stamina damage. Three. Ugh, these threes are killing them. Yeah, lots of threes. But Bland did need to spend some stamina on his repost, at least. Bland backs up another five feet. Edwin finally gets to tier four. Come on, Edwin. He will activate Iron Skin again. He's going to step forward. Bland does attack opportunity. Come on, miss. Half damage, though. But it is eating away. What's the stamina damage? D3. Only two. It's not, it's not too bad. Uh, Edwin steps forward. He's going to attack. He has honed edge now, so he does an extra damage. Extra dice. Critting. Holy shit. That's going to be a uh, that's an additional 2d10 mip. Indeed it is. Holy shit. Holy shit! Okay. Um, that is very likely the end of it. Uh, let's see. Wow! Okay. What What injury? How? What severity injury for that? Holy shit. Holy shit. And that's the power of that one. Holy shit. Uh, D20. Uh, what was that? Wasn't that what gave Laura her stub foot? Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's like 40-something severity injury for Laura was from uh, Edwin as well. Okay, so this is a spine injury for Blaine. Ow! Reduced AC. What severity injury is that? Like, jeez. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? 28? 28. <laughs> so he's not getting rid of that anytime soon. Not even the best doctor is going to heal that in time. Let's see. Uh, That's a fight, Blaine. Well, I mean, especially considering that if he loses this match, he's fighting on the same day in the loser's bracket. So, yeah. He's going to be fighting the winner of, jo uh, of uh, Johnny Erg. Oh, that works out very well for you guys. Yeah, it does. Okay, and with that, <laughs> Blaine admits defeat. <laughs> god damn. Oh, my god. Yeah, we win money! <laughs> it's 
snatching defeat from or snatching victory from the jaws of defeat with one swing. And the crowd goes. And that was the turn he got tier four, also. Right. Yeah. Really. Wow. That was literally perfect for him. I, I am so gonna make a metal crafter when uh, I make a fury crafter. I'm debating of maybe making a spearman shieldman. I still want to make a fury crafter with a spear for some reason. I don't know why, but I just wanted to have a spear. Okay, let me do that. Uh... I wish Kane was here so you could witness how fucking Fear Crafter fights. It's goddamn. That was a lot of damage. Yep, it sure was. So what severity, like, how much AC do you lose from a 20 severity spine injury? Four. God damn, that is crippling. That brings up, what, to a 14? Uh, Jeez. 13. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Back, back up a step. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, fuck you. He I didn't have a match you. earlier today. He still has divine protection. I knew you were going to say it. Holy shit, I thought that he had a match earlier today. I was like, fuck. He's fine. Holy shit. Nah, nah, you already dragged him off. You already dragged him off. His over. No. Over, guys. no. His angel just inexplicably forgot. <laughs> well, he, still take, he still takes 25 damage, right? No, divine protection dodges the entire attack. I thought if, if you get a crit... It, you, you only avoid the bonus roll. No. I don't know where you thought that. More than, I don't know, like a godly part. Divine protection. I thought he was still hurt a little more than that. Uh, Is that 48 I health 48. more? Okay, well, then I guess that's fine. I thought uh, he took more damage than uh, that. You, you that. should have video evidence of that. It's the same pixels, at least. <laughs> well, I'm not going to look back on it. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of... Um, what's the fucking name of the skill? Uh, shock step. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Although, what is shock step... I thought it was base damage. Or no, is it just you avoid the bonus... Damage. Shock step is you avoid the damage. If it's a crit, you avoid a double die. And also, you also uh, you also short dicked um, Edwin on that roll. It should have been a three d ten, or no, a four d ten. Yeah, I I, I, I rolled him five d ten. Oh, five d ten. Got it. It was three d ten from the honed edge, and then an additional one d ten from metalcraft, and then an additional one d ten from vulnerabilities. Oh, okay, I didn't see. I thought it was a uh, 3d10 or whatever you rolled on. Hey, you guys see five. <laughs> that's why his crits are so ridiculous. He has 5d10 bonus. Jesus. Okay, yeah, critical hit allows the attack to still hit, but damage dice are not doubled. Okay. Yeah. Uh, although that means that you would still benefit from vulnerabilities and the metal crafting stuff. It's just the damage dice are not double, so you don't get the base plus two or plus three. Oh, so you still get hit by the... Uh, okay. So the vulnerabilities would still come into a play in that, uh, uh, in that case. Uh, but anyways, so uh, that was Divine Protection. Let me mark that on Blaine Didn't Sheet. Didn't this exact same thing happen last time? Lane miraculously dodged an attack that would have ended it and then came back. I don't know if he dodged it. It was just that he withstood it and didn't take any damage. <laughs> Divine protection. <laughs> it says miss. Oh, attack it causes it to miss. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you, I believe it says that it misses or somehow avoids taking any damage. Uh, it just re it just reflects off of his armor and does nothing. <laughs> yeah, they, they instead miraculously <laughs> dodge or avoid receiving any damage. 
though. So I just think it sounds a lot cooler if the sword bounces off his so, armor and doesn't do anything. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, you, if you've seen Sword Art Online, where <laughs> the, the, the guy moves his shield and possibly passes like that. No, I haven't seen that, and I don't really want to, because Sword Art okay. Online unsucks. You didn't miss much. I've never seen Sword Art Online. <laughs> yeah, you never miss much. Um, you know, it's the second season that's bad. That's what everyone complains about. I don't, I don't watch a whole lot of anime. I think the only ones I really watched are My Hero and Dragon Ball. And who? My Hero Dragon and Dragon Ball. Ball. Oh, Dragon Ball. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that would have been... Edwin still has a bonus. Well, he used his bonus action to take half damage. Um, wow, that's such bullshit. So now it's Blaine's turn. It's a shenanigan. I mean, what makes you think that Blaine was ever able to win without this advantage? I mean, that, that's why Edwin is was such a dominant figure. Because he's, he's an overpowered fighter. Yeah, he's really good. Why didn't any angel pick him up, I wonder, huh? Yeah, what's, uh, what's Edwin's uh, primary attempt? Angels are all like, fuck Edwin. We like Blaine. <laughs> What's his problem right there, man? Like, seriously, like, if I was the guy that has Blaine, I'd be like, fuck Blaine. I want Edwin. Right? Jesus. Yeah, I want Edwin. Fuck this guy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Blaine backs up. Edwin... A little bit flustered from the fact that he somehow didn't deal any damage with that incredible strike. Proceeds to do another uh, crit and proceeds to finish him right there. We'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my. What? What happened? I can't. I'm not seeing it. Again. What? I'm not seeing it. Did my game freeze? Don't see. Maybe we do a refresh. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh... Edwin just got an additional. I didn't see I any changes happen. Where is Doug do the 30? Battle? Holy shit! 20 plus 10! Jesus! <laughs> that is, let me update his character sheet because that is incorrect. He only has plus 8. It doesn't matter, it crits a crit. Yeah, I know, I'm just confused why that is. <laughs> yeah, mine didn't correct for some reason. I'm, I got it now. I'm fine, I can see it. That's weird. <laughs> Double crit! Okay, I'm really confused because from what I can tell, the character she just set up correctly. It's only supposed to be... You know Were you clicking on the wrong character? Man, does he have opportunist? I mean, that's not... But it's not using that bonus. That's why I'm confused. It's an attack of opportunity. Why well, wouldn't it? Were you clicking on the wrong character? If you were oh, clicking correct. on Blaine... Okay, you are correct. Oh, okay. For some reason, it, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was thinking that it was a normal attack, not an attack of opportunity. <laughs> well, it even says attacks with opportunity on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're correct. Um, opportunity <laughs> is correct. Um, I was thinking that, that that was just Edwin's turn and he was doing an attack. I wasn't thinking it was an attack of opportunity. 5 d Uh, not nearly as punishing. Damn, he got low rolled that time. Two months. That, that is so unfortunate. 31 well, damage. It's still, it's unfortunate at 31 damage. No. That is still an injury. Uh, nine. Foot injury, okay. Edwin loves dealing feet injury. Yeah, he loves hitting people in the foot. Uh, that, that was 31, so that's an 11 severity. You healed that. Well, I'm assuming he passes um, the, uh, the fight against Eric slash Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Blaine's turn. Well, it's been his turn. Uh, uh, was... Myth, what about his, is he obstructed? Is he... Oh, good point. Uh, that was 11... He has three stack. Eyes oh, obstructed for next. So turn. yes, he's obstructed. Okay. So the way it works is it's the square root rounded down. So got it, got it, got it. So nine. It, well, yeah, exactly. Um, no bonus action for you, Blaine. 
Yeah, so he can't use second wind, but uh, <laughs> still attack. It's eight 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 and half. Enough. Oh yeah. I know. I, I think I asked this question, but I can't remember. Um, on odd damage, you round up or round down? Down. You round down on almost everything. There are very few things you round up on. I don't know why Edwin likes to keep going for this half damage thing when he keeps running out of stamina. I mean, he just... He, he has plenty of stamina. Okay. He's not using any other moves that require stamina, that's, and he's doing that. Yeah, I mean, and okay. the way that All right. using that um, half damage thing doesn't take any stamina. That's free. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. So that yeah, yeah. That's he only he spends one stamina each turn to maintain his fury crafting. Oh, that's it though. Okay, but that's that's the only thing. He's, I mean, he's taking stamina damage, but other than that, he's not. He's not using he, it actively. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that makes a lot more sense then. He's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, he does have quick things that we could attack twice, but that's risky because if, then you know he doesn't take half damage, and he's not very tanky. Yeah. Because he has a high mind, he doesn't have a high very high vitality. He's only tanky if he takes half damage. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. What you could do is just have him attack. Well, no, because he's going to have to do Iron Skin in order to get into range. Never mind. Exactly. He wants to take half damage from that opportunity attack as well. If Blaine didn't have a spear, I would say you could just have him attack and then see how that goes, see how weak he is, and then do the best assessment there, but he has to get in range. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Edwin is going... Oh, why did I get rid of his fury? Oh, because I thought the battle was over. Um, fury crafting is still there. He goes forward. Blaine doesn't have an attack opportunity because he's obstructed. Oh, then he didn't have to necessarily use a bonus attack yet. He can still... Hmm? Well, because he... Um, I don't know. Mm. Cause he, he, he could potentially use his quick thinking here if he feels he can go for the... But basically what I was uh, talking about. You're not wrong. But let's see if he gets the first hit in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and what it taps? Oof. 22 1. That is a hit. And one. And an yeah, he's going to go for it. Is that an injury What's as well? That? It should be. Yes, that is a two severity injury. Um, D20. Ow. My body. Okay. What's four do? You don't know. Oh. <laughs> All right. Edwin ta uses quick thinking to attack again. Come on, Edwin. Please don't crit fail. <laughs> oh, God, he just chased him. <laughs> no, oh, apparently man. not. He hits him, putting Blaine down to two hit points. Does Blaine concede? <laughs> yeah, he, wait, what? No, Blaine does not concede. Holy shit. Blaine's going for it. Damn. Blaine oh. is indeed going for it. Avatar? <laughs> no. I mean, damn, I was like, shit, what, what are we going to do? What are we oh going to see here? <laughs> Divine Avatar! Oh. How powerful is it? I mean, he's at least a mid-level archangel being able to use Divine Protection. Yeah. I was really looking forward to seeing Divine Avatar. Damn it! Why'd you have to spoil that for me, man? Would have been so good. Okay. 
Okay, Blaine is going to attack. No way! Uh, he's going to... <laughs> I have a feeling that he is, that his angel is an opera archangel. <laughs> you might be right. Incoming twist of fate. Well, it's not a crit. Uh -huh. So, indeed, it's not a crit. But then we got the twist of fate. So he is an upper archangel. He does come in here. Now, I just want to say this. Lame. Play Edwin Boring. Has seven hit points. That does not. Like, he needs eight out of this 2d8 in order to bring Edwin down. So, let's see. He has... Why the fuck would an angel choose Blaine if he needs this much help to do anything? Jesus Christ. Right? <laughs> Seriously. Look at all of you guys. What? Look at, Bla <laughs> Look at Edwin right here. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. Lame. Boring. I'm done. Lame. Lame. You guys are such hypocrites. <laughs> okay, uh, that did 29, which gives Edwin an injury now. D20. Okay. And through angelic shenanigans, Lane ends up victorious. If only that crit did for him. If he Man. literally had, if literally both, if he had two, rolled two higher damage at some point. So basically, basically, if the two crit fails he had, on that fight, I mean, let's be real. You had Edwin go for it because, yeah, he, it would give Blaine a chance. Yeah. If he would have stuck his half damage thing, he would have been fine. Yeah, it is what it is. You realize he did a significantly under half, under average damage in that attack, right? So what? If he kept going his half damage route, he would have definitely won. No opening. You gave him an opening for a one hit okay. kill. First of all, I think that the likelihood of victory <laughs> is not marginally diff is negligibly different because you're wrong. Edwin had an, Edwin had like. A 65% chance of winning the fight right there. Okay. It's Blaine not negligible. He had both Divine Guidance and Twist you of Fate. Know, wait, but even with the Twist of Fate, if he was at half damage, that 29 would have became what? 14. 14 that would have been 14. And then another attack, let's say it did. What other what's attack? The, what's the average damage? Because what he also has Divine Guidance. It's not like. Well, what, what other attack? Edwin could if, attack in that extra round. <laughs> And then he could use quick thinking if he really wanted to. <laughs> but that doesn't that doesn't raise his victory chance of victory much higher beyond sixty five percent, is what I'm saying. Oh, I just with the uh, plus. Like it might Meh. raise it to seventy five percent. Meh. Edwin should have won. I call bullshit. I really do. <laughs> that that was bullshit. If I've so ever seen it. No, so you salty. literally pulled Blaine off the table. Then you're like, "Fuck it." All right, you know he actually had divine protection and pulled because him back did. on. Yeah, but you know what? You pulled him off, and then you're like, "You know, I changed my mind." He, he had it. Then you pull him back on. <laughs> you're right, but you still pulled him off, and then you're like, that's "Yeah, he that's actually that's had it." That's the um, only kind of bullshit shenanigans I really call him that. Is the protection um, after the fact that that I call bullshit and shenanigans? If that had happened to any of you guys, and then you decided after no, the... no, 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 I've seen you say divine. No, no, I no, no. Plenty of time <laughs> to retroactively change things because you guys threatened something until. Well, when you feel you bad for like... us, sure. When you feel like pity, but yeah, uh, no, true. there are uh, there are the there, there are the moments where you're like, fuck is, that, no. Needed an entire turn of combat. The only to be fair, though, the times when you have is usually because of a passive that we forgot about rather than it being a society after the fact to use a divine power. Um, 
and the pass is a pass. You yeah, it hasn't pass. been divine guidance, to be fair. It hasn't really been divine guidance, but you have done that, where you're like, well, yeah. no, you, you forgot to use that. Fuck you. <laughs> Give me an example of one time where I did that. Are you serious? You expect me to keep <laughs> track of this? I mean, I'm doing this in favor of you many, many times. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, well, I forgot NPC passives and did not retroactively change them. Yeah, but that's the same yeah, situation here. I've done that hugely number. Uh, but that's the same situation that here. You forgot an NPC passive and let him get away with it anyway. Well, it well <laughs> what? If it was a passive. Okay. All right. Fine. fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Only if it's a passive. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever it is, what there's it is. so many precedents of where I've done exactly this. I don't know what you've seen that is so inconsistent in my behavior right now. Uh, this I is mean, what I've always done. It's oh it's a God. role that you forgot to include that you're like, okay, I'll include later. It's not even a role. Well, whatever. It's a move. It doesn't matter. <laughs> role is a semantic word here. It doesn't. It's not relevant. I don't even know why you center on that. <laughs> It's something that you forgot, and you're like, oh, wait, yeah, he can do this. Yeah, he did it. Okay. You realize it requires no actual changes, except me not moving them off the field of combat. I did not need to well, how's retroactively that decide anything. Yeah, you did retroactively decide it. You didn't remember it before. You literally retroactively did it. That's retroactively deciding it. That's the same thing. You, you did retroactively decide to continue the fight after you had declared the fight over. After Indeed. Blaine, uh, Blaine actively conceded. It's not like he died, well, not died, but fainted. He actively chose to concede. So he did retroactively change to concede. And if he had actually been hit by that attack, that's exactly what he would have done. Because you did a retroactive change. Well, I mean, I'm not going to argue. I mean, you, I'm just saying you did retroactively decide it. Like, you can say you didn't, but it's clear. What I meant by that, and this is a semantic term similar to how rolling the roll term used earlier, of was meaning that I did not make any actual changes to how combat developed. Okay. It was out of combat that I changed. Well, that's true. I mean, I still call it bullshit. I okay. mean, you I had Edwin it. make a move that doesn't make any sense. You're like, oh, yeah, he's been half damaged this whole time. No, it does Well, for Edwin? For Edwin. No, no. Uh, I was talking okay. about, I said Edwin. Oh, what are you yeah. talking about? Well, why are you talking about three separate things at the same time and expect me to follow this? Well, because I'm talking about the whole fight is bullshit, not just that one move. <laughs> okay. You're just salty because you have to actually face Edwin instead of Blaine. Well, instead I'm not happy Blaine. about that either, but it doesn't make any sense. I watched that whole fight. That was bullshit. Give me a reason otherwise. I'd love to what hear it. That was bullshit. Everything was normal. No, that was not normal. Oh, you pull them God. off the field of battle, then bring them back on, and then... You see, now you're entirely focusing on that. Well, I... I you didn't even let me finish... That was... Ne that was oh, my God. Whatever. You... <sighs> I mean, it's obvious to me. You changed the course of the fight several times. I mean, you literally just had Edwin make a move that doesn't make any sense. Him quick thinking there at that moment does not make sense. It doesn't. He's been doing half damage this whole time. Like, why would he suddenly decide to do that? You know, I think he's got right on the edge of maybe I can get that damage. It wasn't Fuck it, quick. I, oh my okay, God. it was a 60% uh, chance. That's almost a coin flip. Even than that. Okay, 65% chance. So it's maybe we... We can figure out the exact odds if you want. Hold on. If you really want to, is he going to know that? I mean, you're the one who's spouting odds right now. Well, I'm the one who's talking about it doesn't make sense for him to change and suddenly do that. That's what I've been saying this whole time. It's a tactic to use to finish the fight to reduce variability on your opponent's chance of coming back. It's no, that that strategy. doesn't that is not a perfectly about. valid strategy because it is it, a perfectly no, valid it isn't. Strategy. It is a perfect. No, it strategy. isn't. Yes, it, it, is. it is not. You are incorrect, sir. Look, if you have an advantage already established, you keep that advantage. You don't fuck yourself. That's what you do. He already had an established advantage from his iron skin. That's he. Why would you not keep that? Why would you just be like, you know, fuck it, let's go? Need it. What he did? What do you? He, he obviously it. needed it. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have. Well, are viewing it from the future? Yeah. Okay, you're you're just being an asshole when you say that. Obviously, he needed it. Otherwise, he couldn't have gotten taken out so fast. He's fought Blaine before. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so. 
Here's why you're wrong. Tell me, because please. Because this requires two things. And in fact, I'd say, actually, not 65. Edwin's chance of victory on that term was probably close to 80 to 85%. Because, first of all, he rolled significantly under average damage. Okay, all right, that's fine. I'll, I can. Of all, let's say I just Blade accept could that. only win with the combination of a crit and rolling significantly above average damage. Blaine rolled a crit for that? Oh, with, twist, with of twist of fate. Yeah, twist of fate. All right, nice, yeah. But even with that, the crit, he has to roll significantly above average damage, even with the crit, in order to take out mm. Edwin. I mean, here's you're, now you're talking about numbers. You're saying that the characters should know their numbers. Okay, you Is that true? To decide whether... Are you saying that the characters know their damage numbers and stuff? Because I... No, I'm <laughs> saying that on, every, on, the, on an NPC's turn, what I'm focused on is what they can do optimally. Okay? Now, I'm not claiming that I'm perfect. By no means am I perfect. I forget things all the time. You know? This fight's an, an example of that. Um, but I did not intentionally make Edwin do anything suboptimal. I figured in that chance, he had a huge high probability of winning that fight i didn't see and it I that way for victory so that he would win well i saw it as I did not a bad idea nice. congratulations you think i made a mistake that doesn't mean make it true i believe that a 90 percent chance of victory is way more than enough to justify going for it i mean what were were his chances higher if he didn't i think so i don't know you i think so numbers if you want i'd like to hear this report afterwards if you would like to run all the numbers. I mean, it's pretty obvious they were higher from what I can see, because that I means Blaine has to get... So, yes, it is, because Blaine has to get multiple that. hits in a row Holy shit. to deal massive damage. Like, run the numbers, Casey, and let me know afterwards. I'm... I don't even know what all of their I don't know what all of their ACs are. What are you fucking talking about? I can't run the numbers. I don't know all this. I don't know what all of their accuracy numbers and their AC numbers are. And whether or not uh Blaine can use reckless attack. AC. Okay, they both have 17 AC. Blaine can use reckless Blaine attack. Blaine would need to use reckless attack because he had a both twist of fate and divine guidance of variable. So on the next two turns, if he was not done, then he would have had another attack, which was a guaranteed hit. And he would so, have used an attack of opportunity if he back because he would have kept his backing away policy. Yeah. Well, he that it, at two hit points he would not do that. That was way too risky. Because okay, that makes mind. the numbers a lot simpler to run. Well, I mean, so what's their strength then? Because that matters too. What's their might? Let's see. Huh? Because I need to know their might for their accuracy bonus. You can hover over the numbers. You see that Blaine has a plus eight, and they both have plus eight. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> I guess the only good thing here is that Blaine suffers some pretty significant injury. And hopefully Tomlin, who's a pretty good fighter, can potentially knock him off his pedestal. Yeah. Do we have any uh, soul tempering at all? Probably. We'll figure it out in the actual session. Okay. Or we may wait till after the tournament's over. 
Oh, no, no, fuck that. If, cause if, I can hit, if I get to uh, Lord Archangel, I get... Uh, oh, how close are you to it? Two. Oh, okay. You don't have a high probability of getting that two from it, but... Hey, man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's technically a probability. Let me... Well, well, we'll figure it out at the start of the session. What day is it? I don't even know. August. Yeah, at, uh, at the start of the session, you'll be able to do soul tipping. I think almost everybody will. So how's it going, Casey? Okay, so how much health did uh, Blaine and Edwin have? Oh. Edwin had, or Blaine had two? Uh, oh God, hold on. Um, he had two hit points after taking... Well, we, that's already been assumed. Maybe. We already know. He had two health points. Edwin, what did he well, have? Hold on, what? I thought you were talking about... What? Where, what? What numbers are you calculating? Talking about from the point where you chose to ed have Edwin go quick thinking and then attack yeah. again. That's, That's yeah. He already had two health points by that. He hit with that attack. Oh, oh yeah, before that. All right, yeah. He had he had eighteen before that. Okay. And then he took sixteen damage for to put him down to two hit points. And then Edwin had. So, uh, Edwin had twenty seven. Yeah, twenty seven. And then let's see, how much damage do they do again? So it's uh, 1d20 plus 8 for the spear, and then... For both, both accuracies of that, and then 3d10 plus 5 for Edwin, and then 2d8 plus 5 for Blaine. Blaine gets what again? 2d8 plus 5. 2d8 plus 5. Oh, flip side versus Weed and the Girls at the moment. Yeah, I don't care about that matchup. I don't like either of them, to be honest. Oh, what do you have an issue with Flipside? Yeah, they won they've already won a championship. Screw those guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a lame reason, but okay. <laughs> They're Europe. I want NA teams to do well. I don't like European teams. Okay. I mean, besides Snasky's team. I mean, obviously. Oh, that, that's just... Okay, whatever. Look, the leftovers are awesome, all right? I want them to yeah. do well. Screw all of the rest of Europe. I don't think there's a bad reason. What are you talking about? They've already won a championship. Cookser can sit up and be happy, all right? He won it all one time. Well, Cookser has got a sick shielding dunk. <laughs> well, that's fine.
you don't need to stick around anymore if you don't want to. So we're probably not going to do the next match today. Right. Yep.